Ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that happens outside the uterus. The most common location for ectopic pregnancy is outside the, the, the uterus in the tube. And this is one of the most dreaded complications during any form of fertility treatment. And even in ladies who conceive naturally, we always want to make sure that pregnancies are not ectopic. But ectopic pregnancies are a little bit more common in a couple or in ladies seeking fertility treatment. Uh, whenever a lady had an ectopic pregnancy, uh, that will put her at a higher risk of developing or having an ectopic pregnancy in the future. There are uh, two theories why ectopic pregnancies happen. Uh, in general, naturally speaking, the egg and the sperm, naturally they meet inside the tube, they form an embryo inside the tube, and the tube will it has some cilia that will push the embryo down inside the uterus to allow the embryo to implant inside the uterus. There's a theory that says that abnormal but tubes are not pipes. So there's a theory saying that uh, the tube that is open does not mean that the tube is functioning properly. And that's why the embryo might, implant, might sit in the tube and the tube might not be pushing it normally inside the uterus. Unfortunately, when it happens once, that means most probably there's an intrinsic problem inside the tube, and that's why the risk of it happening again is quite high. Sometimes the, the, the tube might be damaged by an ectopic pregnancy, and that's why it, it decreases the likelihood of ladies conceiving naturally on their own in the future, because logically speaking, we have two tubes, the ladies are ovulating most of the time, but not necessarily alternating from right, left, ovary. So if we have one blocked tube, that will lower the chances of success even further. Uh, besides, uh, uh, an ectopic pregnancy might uh, sometimes be associated with, uh, um, with infections that might cause the, the ectopic pregnancy. For instance, chlamydia is one of the risk factors. Uh, that might be associated. Sometimes uh, ladies uh, who had uh, operations before uh, inside the tummy, like an infected appendix as a child might block the tube. Um, uh, and this might be associated with ectopic pregnancy. The other theory, sometimes people say that abnormal embryos implant in abnormal places where the tube is perfectly healthy but the embryo is abnormal, so that embryo decided to implant in an abnormal place. So we know that ectopic pregnancy, once it happens, the risk of it happening again is quite more common. It is also described in medical literature. There are some few cases that uh, ectopic pregnancy, there are some families that are at a higher risk of having ectopic pregnancies, yet there's no specific gene. I have to say this is the vast minority of cases. Uh, so most of the time ectopic pregnancy happens because of a problem in the tube rather than being a genetic cause, although it has been reported in the medical literature that some cases have a genetic predisposition.